Hi, my name is Brett King. I'm an associate professor of dermatology at Yale School of Medicine. On behalf of my co-authors, I'm happy to present the results of the phase 2b3 Allegro study. Alopecia areata is a T-cell mediated autoimmune disease characterized by non-scarring hair loss, ranging from small patches of hair loss to complete loss of scalp face and body hair. Ritlacitinib, an oral selective dual inhibitor of JAK3 and the TEC kinase family, showed promising efficacy and was well tolerated in the Allegro Phase 2a study in adults with alopecia areata. Allegro 2b3 study was a randomized double-blind Phase 2b3 study of ritlacitinib in adult and adolescent patients with alopecia areata. The study enrolled patients aged 12 years and older with at least 50% scalp hair loss and a current hair loss episode duration of 6 months to 10 years. 718 patients were randomized to one of seven treatment groups. Ritlacitinib 50 mg once daily with or without an initial 4-week 200 mg once daily loading dose. Ritlacitinib 30 mg once daily with or without a 4-week 200 mg once daily loading dose. Ritlacitinib 10 mg once daily or placebo for 24 weeks. In the extension period, patients in the ritlacitinib groups continued their dose for a subsequent 24 weeks, while placebo groups switched to ritlacitinib 50 mg once daily with or without a 4-week 200 mg once daily loading dose. The 10 mg group was assessed for PK, dose response, and safety assessments only. The primary endpoint was response based on severity of alopecia tool or SALT score of 20 or less at week 24. The SALT score measures the extent of hair loss on a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 meaning no scalp hair loss and 100 meaning complete scalp hair loss. A SALT score of 20 or less means 20% or less scalp hair loss. At week 24, the proportion of patients with response based on SALT score of 20 or less were significantly greater in patients receiving ritlacitinib 50 mg and 30 mg, with or without a loading dose, compared with placebo. Response rates continued to increase through week 48 in these ritlacitinib groups. Response rates increased from weeks 24 to 48 in the placebo groups who switched to ritlacitinib after week 24. Similarly, at week 24, the proportions of patients with response based on SALT score of 10 or less, meaning 10% or less scalp hair loss, was also significantly greater in patients receiving ritlacitinib 50 mg and 30 mg with or without a loading dose compared with placebo, and rates continued to increase through week 48. Greater proportions of patients receiving ritlacitinib 50 mg and 30 mg with or without a loading dose demonstrated patient global impression of change, or PGIC, response of moderately or greatly improved since the start of the study. PGIC response rates continued to increase beyond week 24. During the 24-week placebo-controlled period, the most common adverse events were upper respiratory tract infection, nasopharyngitis, and headache. During the overall study period to week 48 and including the follow-up, the incidence of adverse events was similar across treatment groups. No deaths, major adverse cardiovascular events, or opportunistic infections were reported during the study. In summary, the Allegro 2B3 study demonstrated ritlacitinib doses of 50 mg and 30 mg once daily with or without a loading dose were efficacious and generally safe and well tolerated over 48 weeks in adults and adolescents with alopecia areata. Thank you so much for your attention.